we did use anaesthetics. The most common place would be willow bark. More powerful is poppy juice, and then there, of course, there's henbane, which is quite dangerous. You have to treat that one very carefully. How we treated wounds, first and foremost, was to wash them out, preferably with spring water. You can also use vinegar, even wine, and then apply honey, uh, and that's uh, good at keeping the wound clean. An army marches on its stomach. Wheat is the primary source of uh, food. In colder climates, it's barley or oats. Then meat, the, the ration is a pound of pork. You can substitute that with other meats if you like sheep or deer or duck or even moles. And then there's cheese, which is also very important in the army diet. I have loads of medicines at my disposal. The one that I'm always using is willow bark. That's cure-all for everything, fever, headache, toothache. We've also got more powerful um, sedatives such as poppy juice and henbane. We've got gentian, which you can use for snake bites, for eye inflammation, for ulcers. Alu, which is very good for putting on open wounds, also cures boils. <sighs> the most common illness I see is eye infections. I have treated some soldiers in the past and up to a third of soldiers at any one time have got eye infections. It's all that soot from their cooking and their lamps and their, their fires. Um, next, it's digestive problems because of bad food. And after that, it's respiratory problems again because of all the soot from the fires. I became a doctor mainly because my father was a doctor and his father before him was a doctor, so it's a family profession and it's well paid, or it has been well paid for my father, and I'm not doing too badly right now. Mm -hmm.